another level. They all on me, one in the scoop. I told them off the record. Ooh, yeah, I'm yeah, in the yeah, lead, they yeah, check yeah. for me. I guess they peeped the message. Wait, I deliver like turn the news for like your favorite broadcast. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I get yeah, the streets yeah, talking, yeah. just like a correspondent. It's three, two, one, and I'ma go like lights, camera, action. So it be with a passion. I get the beats cracking, all on their feeds. Actual tease, guess I'm the trend the topic. Yeah, I got the scoop, 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 I got the scoop. Hello, Governor's State. I'm Keely Doms. Welcome to a new episode of TWAG. And I'm Jalen Woodard. Can you believe it, Kaylee? We're already nearing the end of a spring semester. Time really does fly when you're buried in books and assignments. Absolutely, Jalen. With just three weeks left, it's crunch time for students and faculty. But fear not, Governor State, we're here to keep you informed as we navigate through these final weeks together. So sit back, relax, and get ready to dive into another episode of TWAG. We have news to get into, so let's get started. Do you know an alumnus whose achievements have inspired our community here at Governor State? Nominations for the Distinguished Alumni Awards are now open. Help us shine light on a deserving candidate as we celebrate their achievements. Nominations for the prestigious Distinguished Alumni Awards are open until May 15th. Visit the website below to cast your vote. Tuesday, April 16th, join us in the Hall of Governors for a sticker sale. They are to support students for justice in Palestine. It's from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. You can purchase stickers with designs that improve solidarity, justice, and equality. The proceeds of this sale support grassroots campaigns, educational events, and community building initiatives. All of the stickers are priced at $3 each, or you can get four of them for just $10. So come out to support a worthy cause and help raise awareness. The Chicago Southland International Film Festival recently hosted their sixth annual outing here at Governor State. This year's event showcased a wide variety of compelling films from both established and emerging talents in the industry. During the three-day event, field reporter Dominic Del Polo had front row seats and is here with the story. I'm here at the sixth annual Chicago Southland International Film Festival, where filmmakers all over the world get to come show their talents on the big screen. SIF is an event that brings together those who share love for all things film and those that create them. The red carpet was rolled out and the popcorn was popping for the three-day event that celebrates the hard work of filmmakers and allows people to come have fun and show their support. 31 short films and two feature-length films were shown throughout the weekend. We were able to stop a few of the creative minds on the red carpet. Well, the hardest thing is when you're a filmmaker, you're in your room or Starbucks or wherever you go by yourself. You're uh, creating your film, and after you're done on set, you're editing by yourself. So you put in all these long hours, all this hard work, and when you get to a, a festival like SIF here, it's just such a reward. Getting the opportunity a few years ago with Chicago Southland International was a big deal. It was one of my first festivals ever, and this is now one of my last, at least for this film. And it's been a tremendous opportunity, especially because you don't ever know what you're going to get. And one of my first times in person coming to this uh, was remarkable, and it still is to this day. And I hope to be back to do it again soon. Thank you to all the filmmakers for participating in this year's film festival. I'm Dominic Del Polo reporting for TWAG. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Dominic. It sounds like the film festival went well and everybody had a great time. Let's get back to business. Are you looking for a way to express your creativity and storytelling? On April 17th, Reconstructed is hosting an open mic night at 5.30 p.m. in the E-Lounge. Performers can share their own original work or they can share a piece from their favorite author. Come on out and share your voice with Gov State. For more information, contact Reconstructed at the email below. Governor State Student Senate is hosting a game of Jeopardy to learn about financial aid. The event takes place in room D1496 on April 17th from room from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Special guests for the event include financial aid counselors Frank Serna and Patricia Roundsville. They will be in attendance to discuss financial aid and address any inquiries you may have. Come play and have some fun while learning. Coming up, Zion Banks is down with special guest Dr. Janelle Crowley. But first, my girl Kaylee has us covered with this week's scoop, so stay put, more twag after the break. Governor State University's Early Childhood Education Program is designed for working students to meet their education goals. 
GSU provides workforce students with evening, online classes, and job-embedded field experiences to help students achieve their PEL in as little as two years. Apply today at apply.govst.edu slash apply. Hey guys, it's getting nicer out, and I'm sure like me, you guys have had plenty of thoughts of getting outside. Thankfully, the Nathan Manilow Sculpture Park here on campus is here to help us out. There's beautiful artwork all around campus, like this big guy. Paul Bunyan is one of the most recognized sculptures on this 100-acre open-air art gallery, as well as this sculpture, Yes for Lady Day. And you can't forget what is affectionately called the French fries, aka Illinois Landscape Number no. 5. Although we also have a couple recent additions, first there is Avian Station, and this one called Heart Hand. Prairie Place residents get a daily glimpse of it. What I really like is the pastoral and serene nature of the park, taking a break between classes or just needing that time to be alone with your thoughts. There are areas at the Nate that most people don't even know exist, such as this large open spread and second pond on the premises. Every location of this park can spark the photographer in you. And don't forget, it's a great place to do homework too. This is one of my favorite locations if I just want to get away. I'm Kaylee Dumps, and this is The Scoop. Okay, shoot, I have two chapters I need to do. We are active in the community. Educators, occupational therapists, leaders, nurses, athletes, diverse learners. We are Gump State. Jaguars, Dr. Janelle Crowley joined Dr. Green's cabinet in 2022 as Chief of Staff and Head of Strategic Initiatives. One of her responsibilities is to oversee commencement each year. Today, Dr. Crowley is here with us in studio to talk about the upcoming 2024 commencement ceremony. Welcome, Dr. Crowley. Well, thank you, Zane. It's a pleasure to be here today. It's so nice to have you in the studio, in the flesh. It's so nice to be in person again. Yes, very much so. So commencement is about five weeks away. It's coming up quickly. It is so exciting. <laughs> I missed it last year, unfortunately. So what do we have to look forward to this year? Well, this is an exciting year because we're going to have one of our own as a keynote this year. Can you tell us? Yes, it's gonna be Dr. Marlon Cummings. Oh. And I think he is wonderful and I know he will resonate with all of the graduates. He always does. He is a wonderful speaker and he's just truly, he emulates exactly what our students look up to. So we can't give away too much, but what's he talking about? Well, we're talking about this year, we kind of have a theme and it's um, following the journey, embracing the journey and leaving a legacy. Oh. That's a sweet spot. And, and it really resonates when you look at our students. I think because of what has transpired over the last several years, this graduating class on many levels has experienced different challenges mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. or I have ever experienced. Right, right. And so to be together, this, this class has really built a community and it's so inclusive that that's what Governor State is all about. 100%. So I think it's going to be a really exciting, and also this is the largest class. I heard Graduating that. class. Um, we're up to over a thousand have um, already purchased everything and are ready to walk. And we have over 1,400 graduates this year. This is so exciting. So tell me, why do you think we have so many graduates this year? Well, I think, um, Vice President McGinnis has worked extremely hard with his staff. They have new software. They reach out differently to the students mm -hmm. using Slate. They reach out to the parents, the family, because this is truly a family endeavor when someone in your family goes to college. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's part of it. I think people are so excited to be with families, really in a celebratory manner, especially yeah, yeah. after what everyone exactly. has gone through. And when you think about it, these graduates, you know, half of their college has been right. remote. Right. And right. to be successful and have 
gotten to that point where yeah. they're going to be able to walk. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. I can't wait. I just love literally the pomp and the circumstance oh. and the marching and the speeches. And I'm really excited to hear Dr. Cummings um, speak And the year. traditions are wonderful. <laughs> they're just great. So, um, okay, so we have Dr. Cummings speaking. We mm -hmm. have um, 1,400 graduates. Right. Um, what else do we have to look forward to? Tell me about the student speakers. We have some wonderful student speakers. Brian Sapinski is, he's graduating with his master's mm -hmm, this year, mm -hmm. and he is all about leadership. And isn't that something that we want mm -hmm, to do for absolutely. all of our students? Yep, yep. And we prepare them for leadership roles mm -hmm. regionally, locally, globally. I mean, that's part of our mission. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm, okay. And then we also have. Leslie, and I'm drawing a blank on her Williams. last name, Leslie Williams, but she's finishing her graduate, her bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. and she is going to be phenomenal. So she's one of our speakers, but Crystal Carter is going to be our vocalist <sighs> this year. And she's got a powerful voice. I heard her earlier. She's got a powerful voice. You did. I think she's bringing um, the Black National Anthem. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful, mm -hmm. yes. Yep, so I'm excited so, about that, So too. we try to um, have we have both national anthems, mm -hmm. so we have the United States and then mm -hmm. the black national anthem, and we try to mirror timing-wise. Mm -hmm. So For the morning and afternoon. Right. Okay. So. Um, so something else that I've been hearing a lot about are volunteers, mm -hmm. calls for volunteers. I'm seeing in all our publications inside Gulf State and the Agora. Uh, what do we use volunteers for? Well, we use volunteers for check-ins, mm -hmm. helping specifically, really helping the students row. <laughs> Some of ah. the students, um, they really don't use oh, irons. Oh, their regalia's kind of well, tough. And they don't really use irons very often, or ah. steamers. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so it's been packed in a box, uh -huh. ready for, for the day. <laughs> That's it. And um, so we have a lot of people who really help the okay. students in the okay. roving rooms. Okay. We have check-ins. We have people who might experience some, maybe some issues. Maybe they're missing something that they need. We have we have everything you can possibly okay. think of. Okay. Bobby pins, safety pins. You know, we have Q marshals. Tips. Oh my gosh, we have those <laughs> too. And we have the marshals that are volunteers. Okay. So we really have everyone from every aspect of the university represented for volunteers. And we could always use a few more. Parking is a big deal. Okay. okay. Even though it's free parking, mm -hmm. trying to get people in and out of the parking lot is always a challenge. So for people who want to volunteer, mm -hmm. how do they do it? just contact events, and we have it out there in the weekly notice. So the events office? Mm -hmm. okay. The events okay. office. Thank you so much for stopping in, Dr. Crowley. I can't wait to see you at commencement. Now, back to you, Jalen and Kaylee. Thanks, Zion, and thank you to our guest, Dr. Janelle Crowley, for the interview. And that's a wrap for this week's edition of TWAG. We hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, stay connected with us on social media to stay updated. Thank you for watching. From everyone here in Studio B, I'm Kaylee Doms. And I'm Jalen Woodard, and you have been swagged. I'm taking off on another level. They all on me, one in the scoop, I told them off the record. I'm in the lead, they check for me, I guess they picked the message. Way I deliver, like turn the news for like your favorite broadcast. I get the streets talking, just like a correspondent. It's three to one, and I'm gonna go like lights, camera, action. So it be with a passion. I get the beats cracking, all on their feeds. Actual cheese, guess I'm the trending topic. Yeah, I got the scoop, I got the scoop, I got the scoop.